Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah the prophet went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cup full of water to drink. She left to get it and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There's only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now, I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and he and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord has foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Our response, praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise Praise the Lord. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. The the fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thaws. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Praise the Lord, my son. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might not appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not on his own. If that were so, he would have had, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. 
Just as it is appointed that human beings die once, and after this, the judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. The word of the Lord. Thanks. seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and, as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributions to the sanctuary treasury. For they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the widow of Zarephath, living in a time of famine, 
was at her very end with her son. To generously respond to Elijah, the prophet of God, and give him what little food she had was to truly appreciate and trust in the generosity of God. Of course, we see that she was indeed blessed and received her reward for her generosity. The widow at the synagogue treasury, likewise, showed her deep trust in the generosity of God. This story emphasizes for the disciples their need to trust in God. They should not be like so many of the scribes who were only looking out for themselves, thinking how wonderful they are and blessed. The passage of the gospel emphasizes that the widow is the one who is looked upon with honor and prestige in the end, and not the rich or learned scribes. She was acknowledged and praised because she trusted totally in her God. That kind of trust has its eternal reward. To trust that much is what Jesus was trying to tell the disciples to do in order to receive their eternal reward. We are the disciples of Jesus today. So we too should be impressed by those who place all their trust in the generosity of God. We should do likewise. We too should be willing to offer our time, talent, and treasures for our families, our community, the poor, our church, the immigrant, and the needy. We too should trust that God will provide for us with his love and peace and grace, if not with duplicating the gifts for us. As we live our lives, we are to be like the widows of today's scripture, who offered what they had to others and trusted in the generosity of God to bless them. There is a story of a wealthy church member who had never given any money to support the church. He was approached by the chairman of the finance committee for help with extensive roof repairs in the church. The chairman said, our records show that you are a millionaire but have never helped the church. We really need your help for the roof. The man said, obviously, your records make no note of my 95-year-old mother who is dying with large medical bills, or my blind, unemployed brother, or my sister who was abandoned by her husband and six kids to raise. The chairman responded, I'm so sorry, I have no idea. And the rich man said, so if I don't give any money to them, what makes you think I'm going to give money to you? <laughs> Some people have a tough time seeing how God is open to them and understanding that generosity is all what it's all about. On the other hand, many give what they can to meet the needs of others more needy than themselves and trust in God's care for them. They know how God has already provided for them and trust that he will continue to do so. May we be inspired by these widows of old and come to know and believe how God will take care of us. Amen. 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 mentioned that today we will have the anointing of the sick, members of our community. So those who are wanting to receive the sacrament of the anointing of the sick because of their med uh, medical condition, you would please stand if possible. Dear brothers and sisters, we have come together in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who restored the sick to health and who himself suffered so much for our sake. He is present among us as we recall the words of the Apostle James. Is there anyone sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him and anoint him in the name of the Lord. This prayer, made in faith, will save the sick man. The Lord will restore his health, and if he has committed any sins, they will be forgiven. 
Let us entrust our sick brothers and sisters to the grace and power of Jesus Christ, that the Lord may ease their suffering and grant them health and salvation. With faith, let us ask the Lord to hear our prayers for our brothers and sisters. Lord, through this holy anointing, come and comfort them with your love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Free them from all harm, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. Relieve the sufferings of all the sick, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. Assist all those dedicated to the care of the sick, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. Free them from sin and all temptation, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. Give life and health to our brothers and sisters. We lay our hands in your name. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. Praise to you, Almighty God and Father, who sent your Son to live upon us and bring us salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, the Father's only Son, who humbled yourself to share in our humanity and you desire to cure all our illnesses. Praise to you, God, the Holy Spirit, the consoler, to heal our sickness with your mighty power. Lord God, with faith in you, our brothers and sisters will be anointed with this holy oil. Ease their sufferings and strengthen their weakness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Those to get anointed come forward as we do for community, with your hand in the and as you return, you can be seated. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, by the power of the Holy Spirit, these are sufferings of our sick brothers and sisters to make them well again in mind and body. Let your love and kindness forgive their sin and grant them full health, that they may be restored to your service. You are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us show a sign of support for our sick members as we pray. Lord, for them. Let's now profess our faith and trust in God as together we pray our creed. I believe in one God, the Father of all, maker of heaven, fall into the world of the I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father for all the ages, God and God, great God, true God, true God, begotten by faith, unsubstantiated with power, who all of the ages for us, for our salvation, who came down to hell, and by the Holy Spirit was a part of the Virgin Mary and the King. For our sake, he was crucified on the Mount of He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, and according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and we see that at the right hand of God. He will come again in glory to the rest of the day, and his kingdom will have one of you. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord and the of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord of God, who has spoken through the promise. I believe in one holy Catholic and outside the church. I confess one baptism for the biggest of sins, and that all are to the resurrection of the day, and I am the world to come. Amen. Encouraged by the faithfulness of the widows in today's meeting, let us turn to God to offer our prayers and confidence. That they will be heard by our heavenly Father. For the church, that as the faithful people of God, we may all have the courage to share generously with those in need whenever we see their suffering, and not just when we feel that we have enough. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we have prayers. For the world, that all might come to see caring for the widow, the orphan, the refugee, and the poor as a collective responsibility and that we might create the structures to willingly share our common resources to achieve these ends. We pray to the Lord. The Lord our For the nation, that we might have the generosity of spirit to transcend our divisions by recognizing our shared identity as children of the same God and 
and thereby be inspired to share freely when someone needs our assistance and give back kindly when others share with us. We pray to the Lord. For those gathered here today, that we might have the faith of the widow of the Old Testament, which allowed her to heed God's call without having to count the cost. We pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially Irene Jackson, Sadie McKee, Irene Smith, Cordy McElroy, James G., and Lily Lewis, that they may share in the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Please add your own intentions. This week we want to remember also all the veterans of our military who gave their lives and who offered their lives in service to the country. We pray for the Lord. Lord our God, you showed us how to share, not only through the kindness of widows, but also through the gift of your Son. Hear the prayers we offer this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, I 
to know you are the God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless, Bless you, God, God of prayer. Bless only the Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Bless, Bless you, God, God of prayer. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and all my Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrate in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up your to the Lord. Lift thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. He is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of a virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from our name death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him and her glory as without end, we have come. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith.
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and
By this sacred gift, O oh Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace and integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has through Christ our Lord. Amen. We get another month of so someone to recognize birthdays and wedding anniversaries once again. So the Lord's birthday during the month of November, please come forward with a special message for your birthday during the month of November. <laughs> and just say, come first. 15th? First. 29th? 14th? <laughs> God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise and gift of life. Through the presence of your servants, we cultivate the day of their birth and rejoice in the gifts of life and love, family, and friends. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love. They may enjoy many happy years. All that pleases to you, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Happy God keep them in the love for each other so they may be more and more in one mind and one heart. Amen. Other announcements for today, first of all, the parish council will be meeting on Tuesday at 6 30 by Zoom. Uh, the agenda and minutes have been received by the email. The parish council will be meeting on Tuesday, 6 30 by Zoom. Remember also this coming Saturday is election day, so Please, if you're not already voting, please make sure you vote on Saturday. Is there any other announcements for today? They have to announce and fall back on your calendar. I mean, the clock, so that's already been Yes. Well, I'm here again. Yes, but we have five people who have some 